everyone, I'm at my dining room table today because I wanted to talk to you about writing and this is a great place to write. Do you have a notebook like this? There are different types of notebooks. This notebook is filled with pages with lines from top to bottom. But the notebook I recommended for you to get is something like this, where it has an empty space at the top for a drawing, an illustration, and then lines down at the bottom underneath for your writing. Everybody writes differently. Some kids write just one or two letters at a time. Some kids already know how to write words. Some kids already know how to write sentences. Some kids don't know how to write any letters yet. It's all fine. So we're just gonna figure out how you can write in your journal. Maybe you know only one letter of the alphabet, like the letter S. You could draw a picture of Sarah at the top and then write an S for Sarah. You could draw a picture of a snake up here and do an S down here. Or maybe you could draw a picture of a sunshine at the top and practice your S right there. But what if you don't know any letters of the alphabet? Well, you could take a tour through your house. I'm sure there are words and letters around your house. Go look around, see what you can find. I'll show you. Next to my dining room table is all this stuff. If you walk around and look, I bet you can find something with letters on it. Oh, I found something. Let's get close. It says, give us a call, the Rove and Wrecker. Need a lift? I brought the truck with me to the table and I started to look at how it was formed. I drew a picture of it. Then the next thing I need to do, if I don't know any of the letters, I can copy what I see. So I wanted to copy the word Tonka. It's a in a couple different places on this truck. Tonka is the type of truck it is. I see it right here, there, it's on this part of the wheel, it's up here. So I'm gonna copy those letters. There you have it. My truck says Tonka. Maybe you already know a lot of the letters of the alphabet and you're just practicing the letter sounds. I wonder if you have an alphabet chart somewhere to help you with that. Well, anyway, think about what you want to draw a picture of. Maybe I want to draw a picture of a park. So here's my picture of a park. Now it's time to write what you hear. I just want to write one word. If I wanted to challenge myself, I could write more than one word, but I'll stick with one for now. Park. So if we think about the first sound of park, we hear a p, 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 p. That's a P. Now what other sounds do you hear? P, p, par, or par, or, hey, do you hear that R? I hear it too. Park, park, k, k, k. That could be a K or a C. All right, K. Now for some kids who already know how to spell park and who have known how to spell it for a while, you might have looked at what I just did and thought, Miss Sarah, that's not how I would have done it. But that's okay. Everybody works differently. When you're learning how to sound things out, you might not hear all the sounds. And a lot of times there are hidden sounds that you just won't know unless you see that word over and over and over and remember it. Maybe you have been writing for months now and are already writing sentences. That's fine too. There are definitely ways for you to feel challenged. Think about what you would like to write about. I'm going to start by drawing a picture of a princess in a castle. Here's what I drew. I drew a picture of a princess in a castle. Now, a lot of times you think, oh, a big bad dragon is gonna scare the princess. Not this time. This time the big bad dragon is saying, help, because there's a storm coming and he doesn't like lightning. So the princess was going to help. So I wrote the words, the princess saved the dragon. However you write in your journal is just perfect. I want you to try though to challenge yourself sometimes. Try to draw something new every time and write something new every time. It can get challenging, but it's really good practice. I also want to challenge you to write every day. Writing in your journal every day is something that I like to do in the classroom. It really helps you become better writers. One thing that I suggest you do is that after every time you draw a picture in your journal and write about it, at the bottom or at the top, you should write the date. That way, at the end of the school year, you will have a journal filled with drawings and writings, and you can keep it forever and look back on it and remember what it was like in kindergarten. This week, one of your homework assignments is to show me one of your journal entries. I can't wait to see what you send me. Bye.